so it's me your little boy kiss i'm saying good morning to all my amazing choosing one so if you are new to this channel you are highly welcome i mean you are totally highly welcome so there's something that i'm here to enlighten on you go you know what i'm saying there's some there's one particular thing that i'm here to enlighten on uh, when it comes about prosperity you know uh, the truth is this god have already made a decree to bless each of us God have already made a, a vow, let me put it in this way, a vow to bless each of us that anything or anything that we do, what we put our hand, he will do what he will surely bless, which he have already promised us. You know, it, 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 it is what it is a decree upon his own what his own that he will bless whatsoever we do and anything we find in doing. But the problem here is that what are we doing that God is going to bless? When, when the Lord said he will bless the works of our hand, that means when we are praying, we ought to have something that we are doing. Whether it, God did not tell you that you need to have a, the biggest thing the, or the biggest job or the biggest uh, you know, factory in the world, but he said he will bless you with that little things you do what you have within you, meaning that you must surely have something that you are doing. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that you must surely have something what, that you are doing. Modi. See, see. Meaning that you must surely do what? Have something particularly that you are what you are doing. Because uh, the way the world is going, if you are expecting that manna will still fall the way it fall in the days of what Moses, it is very, very what? Uh, a big mistake. Because it will never not. And it will not fall in like that. So that means you must surely have something that you are doing that God is going to use to bless you. You know what I'm saying? So we have a lot of people who will come to us and tell us that uh, we, 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 it does not matter uh, whether you are working, you don't work. When God is about to bless you, he will surely bless you. <laughs> you know, sometimes when I watch all these things, I get what I get dumbfounded. When some people tell you that it does not matter whether you are working or you are not working, that when God is about to bless you he will truly bless you that when god is about to change your life he will truly change your life but the thing is this god cannot bless you when you have nothing he would bless you know the 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 the, the truth is this if you are not ready to make the first move god will never make the first move you are the one that will make the first move that will make God to know that you are ready to do it, to handle what he's about to give you. Think about it. No father on earth loves to waste his or her resources on what on any child. If your father is a decent and a what and, and, and a an integrity man, when I mean integrity man, someone who re, who who respect and re, and regular his what his word, he will not allow you to waste any of his resources. You know what I'm saying? That's why sometimes if you are a firstborn or you are a secondborn, thirdborn, you understand that some parents who know the importance of their word will not allow their firstborn to handle some position. Rather, they will, they will do what? They will jump over and give the word, the word to the lastborn whom they know that it can handle it without destroying what the legacy of their father. You understand me so we have a lot of people who believe in that word in that lie that whether they are working or they have work they don't have work that god will truly bless them my brothers and my sister the truth is this god will never bless anyone when you have nothing to do with, nothing you are doing i'm not saying you should have a big job or you should not work under somebody even if you are working under somebody god can promote you god can truly use that to do or to promote you and put you in a place where you belong but the problem here is that many of us are not ready to work and we keep praying and that's why today you if you look at it you will see that unbelievers are more are more worthy than what believers because unbelievers believe in working yes unbelievers they believe in working 24 hours and they are getting the result. You know, sometimes we we, we 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 make a confusion between God we blessed the what the believers, uh, um, believers, and He will not bless the unbelievers. The truth is this: everything we 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 need to use 
in order for us to progress in life is right within us on earth. God has already given us all the resources that we need on earth. He has already given us everything that we do, we, we, we need in order for us to sustain the life we have. But the, the part of it is that we keep praying instead of working. Many of us believe that prayer will provide our needs. Prayer 